All right, guys. So welcome back. Um, in this video, is we're gonna talk about method of integration using substitution. Um, so this lesson is gonna be a lot harder than the first lesson. So um, it, it's it's a little more trickier and more work involved, but um, it's um, it's not anything super complicated compared to what we learned so far. Um, so in lesson five point one, we learned how to how to integrate. Functions such as the integral of let's say x to the fourth dx. All right, so this means is uh, x to the fifth over five plus c. So we're looking at the antiderivative is one fifth x to the fifth plus some sort of constant c, right? And we also look at e to the x as well. So the antiderivative of e to the x is going to be just e to the x itself, right? So we learn how to find the antiderivative of those type functions. But what about, what about, you know, if we have uh, indefinite integral that involve a function that is not just straightforward as polynomial or e to x, what if the function is a composition function? What if we have something like this, right? So the, the f prime of x, the low case f of x itself is a composition function of uh, a 2x plus 1 inside the function x to the 7. So what, what do we do here? Well, you know, we kind of, we, we can sit here and just kind of play around this guess and check trial and errors. And, you know, we, we know that the antiderivative will have to the 8th power. So that way, you know, when you bring down the 8th power, um, um, the power becomes 7, right? So you're looking at maybe... But then there's no coefficient in the front, so maybe just put an 8 right there, so the 8 and 8 cancel out. But then the chain rule also have the 2 as well, so multiply by 2, maybe just 1 half here as well. Do you think this will work? Um, I think that will work. So we're looking at maybe 1 over 16, 2x plus 1 to the 8th. But it's still it's still going to be a lot more work if the, if the function we're trying to integrate is much more complicated rather than just a polynomial. So... Uh, before we get to more example using substitution, let's let's recall let's recall the chain rule, right? So recall the chain rule. Okay. So what that's saying that if we have a composition function, if we have if we have f is composed g of x, right? So the function g of x inside f of x, and if we want to find if we want to find d dx of this. Well, you remember that to find the ddx of this, it is equal to the derivative of the outside function, right? Times the derivative of the inside function. So that's that's the chain rule, right? Um, so in this lesson here, u substitution is another method that we use to reverse this chain rule process. So if we look at you know the integral of this, the integral of that, so you know, we have the integral of some function composed, another function inside, okay? And it should be somewhat, you know, equal to this right side here, right, dx. So most of the time it's not given in this form here. Most of the time the problems we're given is in the composition function form like this here. So our goal is to, you know, to start here, start, and then trying to get to here, so that way we can get the answer. Okay, so that's gonna be really hard to try and get to this part here. Um, so to sum this up, um, substitution method, substitution method of integration is just us trying to, just trying to reverse the chain rule okay um so most most of the challenges is is start from this form Oops. starting from this form here and then somehow rewrite that form there in 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 the format of you know the chain rule format here and that's that's where most of the challenges gonna comes in so again before we get to actual problems from this lesson we're gonna we're gonna recall another concept and 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 that was differential so re recall differential ok 
Okay, so we uh, so we define differential dy is equal to the derivative function times dx. Uh, so given if y is some function f of x. So this was the differential concept that we studied in the past chapters. Um, you know, you, you may be more familiar with, you know, how it's written like this here. Maybe if it's written like this here, it's even more familiar because dy of dx is the derivative of function f of x. So f prime of x is dy of dx. So technically, we just kind of brought the dx over this side then, so that, that becomes the differential formula. So we don't need that quite a bit um, to use u substitution. So uh, let's look at an example, right? Let's look at example how to find um, um, differential. So let's say, so um, a, we're looking at if a y functions f of x is equal to x to the third, okay? Then the derivative of y with respect to x is gonna be 3x squared, but then we have dx at the end, okay? Or, you know, you can just leave as dy over dx equal to 3x squared. But the, the reason why we write in this form here is gonna be very useful in terms of, of the technique that we learned in this lesson to reverse the chain rule functions. Um, let's do another one. So let's say, what if we have, what if we have, um, if w is equal to some sort of function g of t equal to e to the negative 5t, then dw is going to be, let's say, derivative e function is going to be itself, and then there's an a in the front there, so that's negative 5. Um, so times dt, so that's going to be the answer. So dw is negative 5 times e to negative 5 t times dt, okay, um, using the chain rule. So I think we, we're ready to introduce an example of um, substitutions. So let's start out with just an easy one. Let's start out with, so exercise 2, use substitution to find the anti, to find the indefinite integral. Okay, all right, so A, let's start with an easy one. Let's say we're looking at the integral of the function 2x to the third minus three, raise it to the fourth power times six x squared dx. Okay, so, um, what we can do here is, we can say that um, we can let this guy's here be a u, all right? So do we have the chain rule follow there? So if, if a u function is the inside function, so this is the inside function, then the du with respect to x is gonna be six x squared dx. So notice that, notice that if we have this as inside function, the derivative inside function is actually the thing here. So we show that on this side. So now we're looking at, you know, we, we, we have this right hand side here. So it should be equivalent to the integral of that there. So to rewrite this, so now this is going to be your du here, du is 6x squared dx. So to rewrite this in terms of the function u, we're looking at the integral of u to the 4 times du. Well, well, this is just the antiderivative using the power rule. So we're looking at u four plus one over four plus one. Um, maybe I should rewrite like that. Much nicer here. Four plus one plus some constant c. So we're looking at one fifth, and then u now can be replaced by what we had before: two x to the third minus three to the fifth power plus c. Okay. So now that's that's our answer. This right here is the antiderivative. Of, of you know this here, okay. So this this is the easy case. This is where everything kind of follows once we start set up the uh, substitution. Things just kind of fall right out. As you can see, you can quickly check. I'll, I'll leave this here so you can check this on your own and check. Um, that if you take the derivative of one fifth two x to the third minus three, um, um, you, you you are gonna get you know um the uh integram which is 2x to the third minus 3 to the fourth power times 6x squared. Let's do let's do another easy one here. Um, part B and I'll, I'll do the hard one in the next video. So suppose we have the integral of 
e to the phi w times phi dw here, okay? So um, let's start with our u function. So let's look at the inside function. So e is going to be the outside function. u is going to be the inside function of phi w. So when we look, find the differential of u, which is du, that's going to be phi times dw, okay? Um, so we have everything kind of... You know, follow here. That's gonna be our u. This is our du. So we can just rewrite this this function as equal equal integral of e to the u. What that's what phi w equal to phi dw is gonna be. Sorry, this is gonna be dw. Phi dw is gonna be d uh, du itself. So we're looking at the integral of just well, what is the antiderivative of e to the u? It's gonna be e to the u plus some constant c. Replace what u is equal to, which is phi w. So we're looking at e to the phi w plus c s our answer. And then again, you can check if the answer is correct as well. Okay. So these are the easy case because um, the integrand already given in the form of the chain rule layout already. So it's already given this form here. Um, so that's that's not as difficult. The next video, we're going to look at an example where the integrand function, so the inside function, is not really given as, 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 as part of the chain rule. We have to do actual work to make sure that it fits. Um, so that's going to be in the next video.